Hello there, this is Intimath and we're doing grade 7, lesson 3 today, adding and subtracting fractions with different denominators. To start, I want you to go back to your notes from before and review some things about fractions, for example, like reducing a fraction, adding and subtracting fractions with same denominators, converting mixed numbers into improper fractions, everything that you can about fractions. And then come back and continue with me. So let's add two fractions that have different denominators. One fifth and two thirds. In order to add two fractions with different denominators, I need to first find the lowest common denominator. To find the lowest common denominator, I need to find the least common multiple of the two numbers at the bottom, 5 and 3. The lowest common denominator is 15. 15 should be now the denominator of this fraction and of this fraction. In order for me to turn this into 15, I need to multiply the denominator by 3 and this one by 5. But remember, what I do to the de denominator, I do to the numerator. So times 3 at the top, times 5 at the top. 15 is now the common denominator. And since I'll only have one fraction as the answer, as the sum, I only keep one denominator of 15. In the numerator, I will add these two products. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 times 5, which is 10. 3 plus 10 is 13 over 15. This is the sum of the following two fractions. Let's now subtract mixed numbers. 8 and 3 fifths minus 1 and 4 15. Now I will split up each one of those mixed numbers into its whole part and a fraction. 8 plus 3 fifths minus 1 plus 4 15. Next, I'll drop the brackets. 8 plus 3 fifth minus 1 minus 4 15. Remember when you have a negative in front of the whole bracket, if there is an expression that is the sum, then each um, member of that expression or each term is changing its sign to the opposite. They both become negative. Next, I'll combine the whole parts and the fraction together. 8 minus 1 is 7 plus, and I will still need to do an operation with fractions. I still need to subtract them. In order for me to subtract these two fractions, I need to find the lowest common denominator. And the lowest common denominator in this case is 15. So I'll multiply this by 3 and this by 3 to get to 15, and then I'll get 15, 9 minus 4, which gives me 5. So now the final answer is 7 and 5 15. This is the end of lesson 3 of grade 7. Can you go and do some practice now? Next, move on to Lesson 4 of Grade 7. See ya.